Okay, so if you're new to Google Drawing, I just wanted to give you a real quick introduction to it. How, what is it? How's it work? You can write on it. You can draw on it. You can put pictures in it. I'm just going to show you real quick how to do that. You're in Google Drawing when you see that. We've got an untitled drawing. Um, it Rather than like a document where you're automatically typing everywhere, you have to create text boxes. And you do that by going to that tool right there. It says text box, and when you click that, you're going to draw the box. If you want your box to be tall and skinny or short and wide or somewhere in between, you can do that. Um, this is editable text, so this is actual text that you can change. I'm going to type, I don't know, I love giraffes, exclamation point. And you'll see that it works like a text document in that I've already misspelled something, so the spelling works. That red line under there tells me that that word isn't right. So I can right-click. It says, did you mean? Yes, I meant to spell it correctly. So that's a helpful thing in a text box. You can also highlight text and change it. You can make it large. You can make it really large, um, but I don't need to make it that large. You can get it just about the right size. You can change the font, which is what it looks like by clicking right there. I don't know. You can make it bold, italicized, which is slanty. Um, I like that. You can change the color. If you want to highlight just a little bit, I can underline that. So you get the idea. Um, that is a text object and a text box, which means you can edit it. It also has something called word art, which is like a pretty picture. Um, and so when you click on the, you go insert word art and it gives you this box and you type in what your words are. I'm going to put dancing monkey. And then when you press enter, it just makes it. And so you can do some things like change the color. You can make it a gradient if you want, which kind of changes from light to dark or from, you know, your color to white. I don't know. I think I like the first one better. How's that? Um, this is a picture. It's not real easy to edit it. Uh, but you can make it look really good. So you might want to do that for a headline or something. You can also, you can insert insert shapes. So if you want to do shapes, these shapes are already made. This tool is really good for charts and diagrams, and we'll learn how to do that later. But if I, if I just really want to make that little thing, I can click on, looks like a Pac-Man to me, um, but I'm going to put him up in the top right corner. Click and hold it and you draw it, and you'll notice I can make it squishy or flat, and that's really not the way I want it to look. I messed it up, so I'm gonna press delete while it is selected, and I'm gonna go insert, shape, and I'm gonna select it again, and this time, before I click and drag my box, I'm gonna hold the shift key, and that's gonna make it stay the same width as it is tall, which makes it its proportions correctly, and that's more like the Pac-Man that I wanted, so I can leave that. You can click on it and move it. You can resize. Another thing you can add is pictures, and this is one of the really cool things about this. You can add an image, and you can upload from the computer. If you have a picture, you can use the image file, or you can search the web, and since I'm talking about giraffes here, I'm going to put in giraffe. There it is. There's my friend. Or, hmm, I think I like the color of that background. So I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to click Insert, and it will pop up. I'm going to move it. Because you don't have, like, a document field here, the space is just like an open canvas, and you can put it wherever you want. I'm clicking here to resize it. I'm going to hold Shift and get that corner box. You can play with this. Um, but I also think I don't want all this space around it, so I'm going to use this tool, which is the crop tool, and this does not change. 
it doesn't shrink the picture, it cuts it off. So if I don't want that outer edge of the image, I'm going to actually remove it. And so you can see here where the picture started and where I went to it. And if you like that and want to keep it that way, click Enter, and it's good. Um, now we've got, uh, it says Dancing Monkey. I'd like to have a picture of a dancing monkey. So I'm going to Insert, Image, Search the Web, and I'm going to remove the search for giraffe and put in Dancing Monkey. I don't know what we're going to find here. All right. This one looks good. No, I think I like this one. I don't know. Let me see. Monkey see, monkey do. From the web, dancing monkey. Insert. Sometimes you just do things again because they don't work. Um, not going to crop it right now because it's not that tool was not working. All right, so I'd say that's enough. You can type. You can put in a big text box and type a lot of text. You can edit that text. I can still go back and edit that text if I click right there. So I can still make changes, correct spelling, you know, make it look differently. Um, you can change all of this stuff, but it's really just a blank page with just a bunch of objects pasted all over it. So I would say play with it. And as always, untitled drawing. I'm just going to put sample playing. I don't know. You can title it. Um, you can. This will be some of your work for me from for the remote learners. You can. Um, it, it saves it like everything else in the Google Suite. It saves the copy. It will be in your drive. Um, it will be under probably recent because it doesn't always look for drawings. And you can do your homework on it when we use this for an assignment and turn it in. We will get into more later, especially with graphs and charts and some of the like st formal structure things, but I just thought it would be fun for you to get a chance to play with it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you're doing well, and I'll see you later.